What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and today we are going to be talking about the shotguns in Black Ops 3. So you guys know I've been able to play the game a decent amount up until this point, probably around 5 to 6 hours of in-game time. And I've been going through the different weapon classes, letting you guys know what I think about them, what you guys can expect, stuff like that. So we've already talked about the assault rifles as well as the SMGs. If you guys missed those videos, I will link them down in the description. You guys don't want to miss those. But so like I said, today we are going to be talking about the shotguns. So uh, in this game, at least as of right now, in the alpha version of the game that I've been able to play, I only know of two of them. There are four shotgun slots, but two of them are grayed out and classified. So you can't tell what's going to be there. As we get more information, we should let you guys know. But the two shotguns I do know about are what we're going to be talking about today. So uh, first up, the KRM-262. So uh, this thing is described as a pump action shotgun, one hit kill against enemies in close quarters. So uh, that thing sounds pretty familiar, right? What are you guys thinking? of in Black Ops 2, the Remington R870. Yes, that's right. It's been reborn. This thing, it reminds me so much of the R870. Like, it just, like, it, you can tell that's what it's modeled after, which is awesome. The R870 was a lot of fun in Black Ops 2. I really, really enjoyed that thing, and shotguns in general in that game. It was just, it was fun to run around with those things. But, uh, yeah, so it's kind of, you know, back, and, uh, you know, honestly, in this build of the game, it felt a little bit weaker than the R870 in Black Ops 2. Sometimes I almost felt like the R870 was a little bit too powerful, but uh, it's still a very good weapon and obviously weapon balancing and kind of you know buffs and nerfs and stuff like that are gonna happen a lot leading up until when the game actually comes out so I'm sure this was in final form but uh, essentially a pump action semi-auto shotgun where you run around and get one hit kills that's what the KRM is so it's definitely gonna be a heavy hitter in the shotgun class now uh, the second shotgun we had available to use at the capture event at E3 and stuff like that was the Haymaker 12 and this thing's described as fully automatic shotgun fast fire rate with modest damage now uh, I'm gonna be honest I didn't really use this thing that much like there were so many things to check out so many weapons so many perks so many pieces of equipment like it was a rush to try to take everything in as fast fast as possible. This is one of the guns that I didn't get a lot of play time with. Maybe like one to two lives or something like that. But the best way I can describe this thing is the AA-12. So hopefully a lot of you guys remember that weapon. It was back in like Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, stuff like that. Modern Warfare 2 is an absolute monster. But anyway, so uh, it's kind of a unique shotgun the, the way that, you know, it's fully auto, so it runs out of ammo pretty quickly, it has, you know, kind of slightly smaller magazines and stuff like that. So it's very good at killing that first person. Sometimes it's okay at killing that second person, but if there's anybody else there, it really kind of struggles. Like, it, it's a very, very close range, almost like overkilling people. Like, it just, like, it dumps a lot of damage all at once. And it's hard to get multiple kills. Whereas, like, the, the R870, the KRM, you can kind of take pop shots and move in and out of cover and stuff like that. So, it's a, a very unique weapon. It's going to be fun to use, but it's, I don't think it's going to be quite as good as the KRM. So, uh, that's that. Now, uh, next up, let's talk about the, uh, the optics as well as the attachments you can put on shotguns in Black Ops 3. So... If you guys don't know, optics are now kind of like their own separate category. They're no longer included with the attachments. So the only optic available on the shotguns in the alpha build of the game was the reflex sight, which is essentially the red dot sight. I'm sure there are going to be other optical attachments available for the shotguns when the actual game comes out, or maybe even the beta. But uh, you know, as of right now, that's all they had in the version that we played. Now, uh, next up, let's talk about attachments. So uh, there were eight attachments available for the shotguns in the alpha build of the game that I played. Obviously, by the time the game actually comes out, this could be changed. There could be you know attachments added, removed, you know modified, whatever. So uh, keep that in mind. But these are the ones that we had when I played. So uh, first up, there's the long barrel. This thing is obviously very very important because it increases your range and in turn kind of increases your damage over range so uh, that's pretty useful there uh, extended clips so you can shoot more without having to reload fast max you can reload even faster quick draws so you can aim down sight faster that's obviously very very useful on that KRM for you know rushing around aiming down sight you know shooting people rapid fire was also an attachment on, on the KRM. I'm not sure if it was available on the, uh, the the Haymaker 12, but it was available on the KRM, so it reduced the time in between your pumps, which is obviously very, very important. That's also what she said. Uh, next up, we had the laser sight to give you kind of like a, a visual cue as to where the enemies were in your screen for hip firing. Uh, also, the stocks, you can move faster while aim down sight. 
and, and then finally, you could suppress the shotguns as well, so you can stay off the radar. So, uh, yeah, there you guys have it. Those are the two shotguns we know about so far in Black Ops 3. As we get more information, we should let you guys know. I can't wait to find out what those other two shotguns in the game are, the classified ones we don't know about yet. That's going to be kind of interesting. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. We still have the LMGs as well as the snipers to do, so look out for those videos coming soon. And uh, make sure you guys check out these two videos on the screen if you haven't seen them yet. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.